Hi everyone and welcome back to another Tribus Sonata video. Today we'll be taking a look at the first movement of Mozart's 38th Symphony in D Major, K504, also known as the Prague Symphony. Before we head into the annotated score and audio, I'll give a brief overview of some talking points that are not covered or maybe a bit hard to follow later on in the video. Often overlooked for the more famous symphonies from the summer of 1788, the Prague Symphony represents one of the great peaks of Mozart's contrapuntal writing. It also contains some of Mozart's most refined woodwind passages, which frequently take centre stage from the strings and are highlighted by the rare inclusion of two flutes. The symphony is cast in an unusual three movements instead of the more common four. In the 1780s, the fast low fast structure used during the early classical period, seen in many of Mozart's early symphonies, was considered outdated, with the addition of a minuet in a fast low minuet fast structure being more popular. However, Mozart omits the minuet and instead adds one of the most sophisticated introductions in the symphony up to that time as compensation. It is the second out of three introductions to a symphony that he wrote, with his 37th symphony being written by Michael Haydn. The first movement of the symphony is set in sonata form. In a nutshell, sonata form is a structure that consists of an exposition, development and recapitulation. The exposition can be further divided into a few sections. The first subject group in a tonic, transition, second subject group in the dominant and closing. For more detailed explanation, I recommend watching Richard Atkinson's video on sonata form. In regards to this symphony, it's important to take note of the transition between subject group 1 and 2. The transition typically serves as a modulatory passage to move from the tonic to the dominant, and in this symphony, we can further divide the transition into two parts. The reason behind this is clear once we reach the recapitulation. Typically, the recapitulation begins when the music modulates back to the tonic and reintroduces the first subject before following the same path as the exposition except in the tonic. However, Mozart reverses the order, creating a false recapitulation by first introducing the first transition section in the tonic, then bringing back the first subject after an extended dominant pedal to signal the traditional start of the recapitulation, which leads straight to the second transition section. With this background information, listen to the first movement of the piece accompanied with an annotated score to highlight the complex counterpoint and motivic development throughout the movement.